Hey everybody, it's Michael Fair from FilmFestivalCircuit.com and I was making this little tutorial here to show people how to make a poster really cheap for your film, screenplay, music video, series, episode, teleplay, whatever it is, filmmakers, screenwriters that are submitting their creative work to film festivals, you should all have a poster. And I can tell you, just looking at the stats a few minutes ago from the Oregon Short Film Festival, only about 60% of submitters actually include a poster that has the director's name on it or the screenwriter's name on it. Film festivals use posters for marketing purposes, um, post them on social media, post them on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. And in the case of our film festivals, you know, for the Oregon Short Film Festival, uh, earlier here in 2020, we printed um, over 100 posters that filmmakers sent us to put up in the venue, to tape up in various places, um, just to show people and give them an idea of what films are coming up. So a very useful tool. Um, Canva is super cool. It used to be free to get a basic image. Now they charge you a buck. One dollar is a small price to pay to market the screenplay or film that you put so much energy into. So let's get this started. Make your poster for a buck here with Canva. So here we go, I'm gonna go super basic. Uh, I'm going to go Michael Fair uh, Poster Example. That's what I'm going to call it. Go ahead and click on Make My Poster. All right. And when you get here, by the way, sorry, the web address is canva.com slash tool slash poster dash maker. All right. So get over here. They give you these different types. For the purposes of this video, we're going to do a movie poster, but you do ad, sports, motivational, all this other cool stuff. Go ahead and click on movie. Then they give you these free posters to use. These images are, um, you can use them however you like. Basically, they're kind of an example. You don't necessarily have to use them, but you can kind of grab, you know, you look at the alignment of the text, give you some ideas. Maybe there's a film here that, that uh, is similar to something um, that represents the theme of your film or screenplay. I'm going to go over here with this a bit of heaven. All right, and hit next. All right, so you see it already changed the name, Michael Fair movie example, and then the words are kind of bleeding over some stuff. All you got to do is click it. Um, you can easily resize, no Photoshop necessary. And you know you're centered when you see that pink line down the middle. So I just use it by eye, and there you go. Now my Michael Fair poster example is not bleeding over anything. Um, you can sit here and change any of the text with a double click. And you can just start typing. So I can go with uh, Film Festival Circuit. And let me show you something when it's um, too long, it'll make it into two lines like that, but that's okay. All you gotta do is kind of stretch your, oh, that's the resizing tool, sorry. All you gotta do is kind of stretch yourself out there and it'll make it one line. If you're cool with two lines, you just bring that bad boy back. Now that's the resizing, isn't it? You have to wait till your, your mouse is kind of side to side like that. There you go. So film festival circuit example. And then when you have a cross, that means you can just move this thing around. Okay? That simple. Um, they put a little laurel here for you that is made up of different pieces. You can just change, you know, the one name of a festival if you'd like. So I'll click on this little Edgewood here. I'm going to type in OSFF for the Oregon Short Film Festival since that's the one I was talking about earlier. This 2018 Film Festival, for the purposes of the example, this is perfect. Down here is all this text. This is really important that you want to, you know, give people some props for the you know, the hard work that they did on your film. And this one's really cool because it has a um, website in here, basically a call to action. Think about it like this. You make your poster. You want people to learn more about your film. Checking out your website is a good way for your poster to convert leads or at least let people know Oh, this is a cool looking film. They have a website. Let me bookmark it or social media, Facebook page, whatever. So this Laurel is made out of these different pieces. So you can kind of highlight all of them with a click drag. So you make sure all the pieces are highlighted. It gives you this box and you can go into the box and see you get your cross triangle and just kind of drag that box over. If you want this someplace else, wherever you want to put your laurels is fine. Um, with this one, I am going to go ahead and put it up here on the tippy top. All right, sure, but it's an award-winning film. It's a little large, but uh, for all intents and purposes, I say, okay, it's just a little bit large. So you wanna highlight all the pieces. Oops, 
I'm going to highlight all the pieces of the laurel. Oh man, you're sucking up some other stuff there, buddy. And um, no, if I shrink it down, let me see. Shrink it down a little bit. It was a little too large. Use the cross and move it. There you go. Now you're saying to yourself, okay, I got it selected to another film festival. I want to update this. Go over here to, um, you have these elements on the side, you just uploads, and get yourself your laurels. Usually the festival will give you the black version and the white version, so it'll deal with any background you're dealing with. Let's go ahead and make this one teeny tiny by dragging it. Remember, you want that cross if you're moving it. There you go. And see how there's that pink line in the middle? It kind of lines up both laurels on each side. Granted, both laurels are kind of funky. You know, you can use Film Freeway if you want, and you can actually generate your own laurels if you want them all to look the same, since sometimes film festivals give you different stuff, right? Um, make it a little smaller. And you just upload that from your desktop if you want to. And, all right, I'm not gonna spend time redoing all the text here, but you know, you can um, replace all this text you're looking at it and you've been editing a while and you're like, you know, not a big fan of the background or this laurel seems like it's not close enough from the edge. It's a little more even. You're like, you know what? Background's not happening. How do I get rid of this background and put something else? Well, you can detach the file from the background and your background becomes this movable thing. You can use it as either a little piece. You can use it as a little piece or you can just delete this thing all together. Bam. And now it is gone. So you say, okay, I want to use the good old trusty picture of Michael Fair here. All right, here's Michael Fair, your festival director. I'm like, hey, I want to use this. So you can use that photo you want as an example. Of course, you can move your words around if you don't want them to overlap. Um, you can make Michael Fair really small. And he's just a dude. You know, you could put a few screenshots from your film here, or maybe a headshot and a potential, you know, an actress or something like that. You can put multiple images. Just drag whatever you upload here. You click that, you upload, you're good. This one, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. I'm going to keep this one pretty static, pretty text, which is better than nothing, trust me. Um, but if you want a new background, you go over to the background section. They have a whole bunch of them to choose from. You'll see that some of them say free on them. Um, I think when you go down a little bit, some images, they actually start charging you for them. But most of these backgrounds, they're free. I think it's a pretty good variety just to get something basic going on. Boom, clicked on that. You got some brick background going on there. And um, whoa, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And you're like, well, you know, we took that, that, that image out. Let me just take all this as a little... It's a little top heavy. Let me bring this down in the middle a little bit. You know, this is kind of bottom heavy or you want to make some of the words bigger. You can bring this up a little bit. And it's fully flexible. Now let me show you when you are done making your poster. You can sit here and spend a couple hours if you want. Um, you can go over here when you're ready to get it. You've got these options. You can print them. Um, you can just download a file and upload it to your Film Freeway page. We have a tutorial for that. Click on download and um, you see here it says premium image for a dollar. And you can pay and download if you'd like. That's where the option is. Get your file and upload it to Film Freeway. Um, there's other options here. Let's see, they have that's the poster print one. You get a PDF standard PDF, you can do multi-page documents, a PNG is fine to send to a festival. Look, they have a slider here for your um, your sizes. Let's see what kind of... Okay, so if you want to mess with that, you got to open up the Canva free account, but it does have this default size of 1587 to 2245, which by the way is a nice big file. The number on the left is your width, okay, and the number on the right is your height. Um, you can choose a transparent background if you want. It looks like they're trying to upsell you for a new thing. At least try to get you into Canva Pro f for free. But if you don't want to join up, you don't want to subscribe to anything, I totally get it. Got to keep the budget handled. One premium image is a dollar. That's it.
and it removes the watermark. I guess you can download it and have a little watermark just to see how it looks. And here's your pay and download button. Down here it is, download free watermark draft. Take a look at it. Of course, they just want to protect it so you're not using it for commercial use. And boom, you can um, download your file. And there it is. There's your poster. I'm going to hit the X there. And that's it for your tutorial. So there you go. We whipped up a quick poster um, with Canva for only a buck to make your file and send it off. And that's all you have to do. So good luck. And I hope I see 100% of every submission have a poster from now on because it's this easy to make. Take it easy.